What's up YouTube? So my son was looking for a project car and I think we found it. We found this in Ohio. Uh, four hours away, a uh, guy got this car uh, in place of his other car and he started building it in 2019. They pulled the motor. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff done to this thing. The wheels are brand new, tires are brand new. The shell is 100% clean. Um, the, the coolest part about this thing is it's got a 1JZ engine swapped into it with a big turbo. The car came with tons of good parts. We've got a universal harness here. We've got HKS engine management, two HKS boxes actually, uh, tile, wastegate, uh, all my coolest stuff, hard piping intercooler Mishimoto radiator um, coolest part rocket bunny wide body kit full kit front bumper intercooler my dog is sniffing everything it's all new uh, radian radium fuel pump radium fuel pump everything that goes with it all the lines the box the sender this car has to be converted to cable. So it's got the fuel pedal. Uh, it's got, this is a pressure regulator for the fuel pump. Flywheel, there's already a clutch and flywheel put in. The drive shaft has already been modified to bolt right into the car and just tons of other stuff. So if you look in here, this motor, they've already started to work on it. It's got the cam gears, new timing belt, uh, this big, big turbo. It's non-name brand, but ball bearing. So that turbo will be reliable. You can see where he got it from a guy that was a, uh, I guess he's, they said he's built some crazy builds. He knows what he's doing and they got the car from him and started. They got this car and they bought the donor car for this engine from him. And uh, he was planning to do this swap with a 2JZ, ended up going with a 1JZ. And uh, this is the old engine harness. So if you look at this thing, it's a super clean shell. It's been sitting since, he started it in 2019 and it's been sitting ever since. He's just bought parts for it here and there, put them on it. Um, the interior is 100% clean. Check out these rear wheels. Just amazing looking. You look inside the car, the car's mint. We've got to figure out our shifter. Um, everything's here. We need to go through it today, give it a really good cleaning. The sun's killing my camera. But overall, this is one heck of a platform to start with. They had this motor down to the bare block as they were building it. The uh, intake is on loose. Everything's on loose. You can see we're missing nuts here. They showed me all, they had it as a bare block. They set it in here and they just built around it. They were mocking it up. Uh, so everything's loose. So we gotta go through and do that. But if you look at this block, look how clean that is. It is a GTE block. You can tell by that oil feed there. Um, so this thing's sweet. It's gonna be a cool car. Today, I want to go over this harness, make sure all this was strictly to the FRS engine, get it capped off, Get make sure we don't have to deal with that anymore and we want to put power to it test the headlights the tail lights the radio the windows everything that should work um, in the car obviously we're not going to have heater we got no heater core hooked up once we verify pressure then we'll go from there but in this video i just want to make sure everything around the car works and then we can dive into this motor so what my son is doing is we're taping all these wires so we know that none of them can touch once we give this thing power. And this is temporary because I know we'll have to get back in here and we're going to have to find power and ground 
and stuff like that to power up our HKS ECU. But for now, we can be comfortable in knowing that none of these wires are going to arc. Um, yeah. And that's the right way to do it, guys. You cut off the old engine harness. This is just at a point where he was ready to start wiring the engine. He cut the harness, put it in there, and that's just where the car, you know, stopped. That's where they stopped. Um, overall, though, this car is freaking sweet. And this motor is going to be awesome. This manifold, if you look at it, comes down down and then you've got two runners coming out of each side going to the wastegate down here this turbo's got a three and a half inch outlet so this is not going to work the car originally had a smaller turbo on it and then they went with a bigger turbo so we're gonna have to fabricate that and uh, make it work but as far as uh, engine harness, they've got a really nice engine harness. It's all labeled. Um, I mean, this thing is sweet. So, uh, except there, I, I did notice there's a couple that weren't five. I thought I saw a couple wires that weren't labeled that had been cut. One, like these ones right here. What are those? We're gonna have to figure that out. Um, yeah, going through this thing and figuring out what the heck everything is. And then these are the HKS harnesses. And I'll tell you guys, wiring is not my <laughs> specialty. It makes me nervous. So we're just going to have to take our time and really, really make sure we do our research. Hopefully we can get this engine started. All right, we got everything taped up. I showed the battery in here. Um, this runs down to starter, that's key ignition. Um, we turn the key and it seems that everything's working. Let's check it. Yep, we got tail lights, hit your brakes. All right, let's go blinkers. Yep, yep, check window. Other window? No. Yep. Yeah, that works. All right. Lights. We've got headlights. Air. Oh my god. Everything works. Trunk. Carbon fiber style. Oh, trunk, trunk works. works. No mood room in this thing. Dude. We're literally 70% there. How many miles? 105,000. 105,000. 106, on basically. Yeah. Yep. All right, we're cool. So 105 mile shell. I thought he said it was like 70, but look at this thing's been sitting. All right, Steel, I think your next best bet is to clean this thing. Yeah. The window. Oh, so hell. Break. Dude, this is cool, man. Literally 70%. Yeah. There now. now we move on to the engine. We know the car's good. Um, we need to, I mean, look at the block. The block is shiny. It's like a new motor. Look at that block. It's just clean. Uh, CX oh, racing mounts. That is sick. Um, that's so cool. We need to get valve covers. We need to get an intake gasket. Yep. We want to get a manifold gasket, get all those gaskets. And then we're going to tighten all those on keep our eye open for a manifold maybe we find one on ebay cheap or something but that's the car guys we just made a lot of headway today making sure all this stuff works we are going to have to fabricate this exhaust because now there is a three and a half inch outlet on the turbo but that's no big deal we just weld something in there so this is the beginning of my son's journey he spent a lot of money on this. Um, I think it's gonna be a sweet car when it's done. This is something for him to learn on and we can do it together. We got the car all running and everything. So now what's next? 
as he's going to power wash the car, get it all cleaned up, get it back to, you know, just nice again. It's been sitting for two years, since 2019. Yeah. He got the shell, he bought this car in 2019 and it's been sitting as a shell since then. Um, yeah, these wheels, look at how dirty these wheels are. I mean that, once we clean those up, they're gonna be so nice. And these are real Odehan wheels. Um, these are actually BF Goodrich G-Force tires. <laughs> Everything that he bought for this car was, you know, top of the line, if not close to top of the line. He, uh, he definitely had attention for detail and uh, I'm excited. So if you wanna see if we ever get this thing running, subscribe. Um, do what you want. We're going to leave it here. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.